Okay, it's day one. It's time to make coffee. No more 2 a.m. bedtimes for me. Same problem as yesterday. Paper. We use better water today. Well, that's percolating. I'm gonna stay hydrated. Oh, it's really dry here. Coffee tip. If you're traveling a lot, backpacking, road tripping, whatever, the AeroPress is a great way to make coffee on the go. I'm not sponsored or endorsed by AeroPress, but if they want to send me free coffee gear. One of the cool things we saw that I didn't mention in yesterday's vlog was this rumble map. It's supposed to be an accessible way to interact with images of things like the solar eclipse. Listen to this. I think that's kind of cool. I'm saving the environment. Okay, the morning session starts in just about a half hour, so I have enough time to go sit on the atrium deck and drink my coffee. Lock. Unlock. thousand miles for the free breakfast. Think about the last outreach or education event that you held. Do you think that there were a significant number of people who held these beliefs? Perhaps. We think that planets are inside these debris disks and hypothetically <coughs> a planet orbiting inside a disk should shape it. Once helium burning in the core of the star is exhausted, it will go up another branch. Here the radial velocity field shows red as strong upflows, blue as strong downflows. Free food is the currency by which science is done. That is some serious CYA for a coat rack. So your question is, where's the podcast? Because I mean, you've got everything else coming. Uh, yeah, which is crushing me, right? <laughs> Wait, you're not showing your name tag, so no one knows who you are. This is Gus. This is Gus. Arokan Jones. He, he kills it. That's right. That's <laughs> because you will get a lot of swag. <laughs> All right. So you'll need the bag. That was a pretty painless check-in. There. Now you know who I am. This is Angie Wolfgang. Yeah, hi. We just finished the NSF Fellow Symposium. Got all kinds of science, but then also all kinds of education. Also, it's like the only time I get to meet the other fellows. I do a lot of population modeling, trying to understand what exoplanets are like. Uh, it involves a lot of statistics. Statistics are good. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a good thing to, to pursue as well. Okay, really short. Is there anybody who really inspires you in astronomy? I, actually, Jadada Eisler, really. She, she is amazing. And also a fellow NSF fellow. Yes. All right, so we just wrapped up the NSF Fellowship Symposium, which was awesome and tons of fun. And I got so engrossed in it that I forgot to do a bunch of vlogging. Yes! Hey. Yes! My roommate just got here and I'm shooting a video. What's up, dude? Oh my god, what's going on? Woo! Okay, after hellos, we are now heading downstairs. You're gonna get registered, and I'm gonna go down to the undergrad reception. For my, that's my dinner tonight, is whatever is at the opening reception. Yeah, man. Mr. Mason, I guess. <laughs> this is Marina. We are the two postdocs at Western. 100% attendance of the Western Postdoc Union. Snacks. Maybe. Maybe just drinks. Oh, no. I can tell there was food, but no more. I heard you scoffing at me. <laughs> Professor put me in And I just talked for two and a half hours straight. Undergrad reception done. Shook a lot of hands, met a lot of really talented new people. I am optimistic about the future of US astronomy. Now I'm starving, and so I'm going to the opening reception, which is one of the key free food opportunities. There's a few thousand of my best friends. Molly Crew, Joe, Hi, Jim. Gerard, Trent. I have Emily Levesque and her amazing massive star crew here. Ah! You guys both have 
of posters? Yes. Yeah, when, when, when are your posters? On Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. On Thursday. On Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday, I will bring this giant selfie camera and we will go take pictures of their awesome posters. That's fun. To me, a vlog is when somebody just reads like posts, that, like social media posts. That so I'm wondering, is that what you're doing here? No. The event and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, those were some fun receptions. I ran into like 20 people who said they had seen my tweets or followed me on Twitter. That's a huge game changer. Being able to just be on Twitter and interact with scientists, interact with your colleagues, interact with people you admire. No big wrap up tonight. I'm just gonna go catch the elevator, go edit some film, and go to bed. Tomorrow is a full day of science with a regular program. See you all there.